Dogs are a man's best friend, but much to the frustration of those of us who aren't flush with cash, sometimes it's not cheap to have a friend. Some good boys can be a wee bit pricey, some even cost millions. These are the most expensive dogs in the world. Number 20. Lion's Blood Tibetan Mastiff Meet the world's most expensive dog Tibetan Mastiffs are very impressive dogs as it is, but what if I told you that now they also come with lion's blood, making them not only very expensive pooches, but also top-of-the-range Mastiff studs. The proud owner of this gorgeous giant of a dog is a high-rolling Chinese businessman. He's a property developer in one of the world's most booming economies, and that's why he can easily shell 12 million yuan for a one-year-old puppy with a very original golden coat. He bought his new puppy at a luxury pet fair that took place in the eastern province of Zhejiang in China. Tibetan Mastiffs have become a prized status symbol amongst China's richest people. And pure Tibetan Mastiffs are very rare and extremely hard to find. But if they also have lion's blood running through their veins, that's just the cherry on top. This is why this dog costs two million dollars. The press did not disclose the name of the pooch nor of the owner, but we do know that he was 31 inches tall and weighed about 200 pounds. The, the pooch, that is. Mastiffs are descendants of dogs that were used for hunting by the nomadic tribes in Central Asia and, of course, Tibet. They are incredibly fierce and protective dogs. Top notch. Like this video, smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Czechoslovakian Wolf Dog This dog breed was developed by the Czechoslovakian army in 1955 when the countries of Czech Republic and Slovakia were joined together. They were looking for a dog that would have the character, hardworking spirit, and obedience of a German Shepherd, but the physical build and strength of the Carpathian Wolf. So they bred them together for generations to finally get to the result of the modern-day Czechoslovakian wolf dog. They were also looking for a dog that could withstand the extreme weather conditions that they were working with. But even if today they are the country's national dog, they are extremely rare and hard to come by. And that would explain the price of these pooches. The cost for one pure breed puppy is around $50,000. Plus, you're playing ticket to the Czech Republic, as there's very little chance you'll find this breed anywhere else in the world. But the price also highly depends on many different factors, such as the breeder's reputation, litter size, lineage of the puppy, and training, amongst others. If you want to get one but don't have that kind of cash, but still have some kind of cash, you could always purchase a puppy for around 3750 bucks, which is the price for a pooch with papers, but with no training whatsoever and with no breeding rights. For a dog without papers, the price drops considerably, but it's not recommendable to buy one like that. Number 18. Samoyed. This beautifully fluffy pooch is a very unique breed, perfect for a family pet or companion. Their naturally erect ears and plumed tail makes them one of the cutest breeds out there. I mean, they just look like a teddy bear. This breed was first developed by the Nenetsky people of the Taimir Peninsula of Siberia. They used the Samoya dogs to pull sleds, hunt game, herd reindeer, and for protection out in the steep forest. In return, they were allowed to live with the humans, and they were given shelter in the hardest winter months. If you're allergic to cats or dogs, this breed is perfect for you. It might sound crazy given the incredible amount of hair they have, but they actually produce surprisingly low amounts of dander, which is the number one cause of allergic reactions. Although, you should consider that they require a lot of grooming time. Each grooming session takes about an hour, and they need to be done very often, especially if the dog lives in a warm place. And last but not least, this dog breed is extremely safe for children, as they absolutely love people and playing with them. All of these wonderful qualities make the Samoya dog quite pricey. You can get your pure breed pup for an average price of $3,000.
Number 17. Lo Chen. The Lo Chens, also known as the Little Lions, are one of the most expensive dog breeds in the world. They're the cross between the Maltese Bichon, the Small Barbet, and maybe a little bit of Spaniel. They can be traced back to the 16th century in the Flemish regions, but researchers believe that the breed originated along the Mediterranean Sea and traveled up towards France, its country of origin. They are a small breed, with the male and female adults weighing from 4 to 8 kilos, and they never measure more than 32 centimeters from paw to shoulder. They were never a hunting dog, but rather a pleasure dog, one that's kept for company and cuddles. It's believed that they were allowed to sleep in the same bed as the ladies to keep their feet warm at night. It was always a nobleman's breed, as they are widely noticed on many Renaissance paintings. They went almost extinct during the 19th century. That's why, even today, they are extremely hard to find hence the very high price for the documented pure breeds. Their average price varies from $4,300 to $7,400, but some precious specimens can actually go for as much as $10,000. Number 16. Chow Chow this breed of dogs is actually quite big, which means they eat larger amounts of food than other smaller breeds. Considering the vet bills, the food, and the extensive grooming they need, it all adds up, and that is one of the reasons why Chow Chows are so expensive. Purchasing one of these pooches from a shelter or a rescue will significantly decrease the price. You could probably get one for one to three hundred dollars. But if you want to get a purebred puppy from an official breeder, they'll ask between one thousand and four thousand dollars. Puppies are usually much more expensive than adults, but they come either soft coated or rough coated. They have a wide color span, too. They can be black, blue, cream, fawn, red, or white. But one thing to keep in mind is that Chow Chows are not the perfect breed for just anybody. They can sometimes be a little aloof and even aggressive. They are extremely vocal, which can displease some people. On the other hand, they are also very devoted and protective dogs. This breed is rare and noble, so in order to get a purebred puppy, you'll have to set an appointment with the breeder, and then they'll put you in a waiting list of customers. It can take quite a long time until you can bring your pet home. Number 15. Azowak. This elegant and naturally lean dog is a very ancient breed originating in West Africa. These hounds are raced throughout the Sahelian zone of Mali, Niger, and Burkina Faso. This region includes the Azawag Valley, from where the name of the breed comes from. They were kept as livestock guard dogs by the nomadic people of the region, and despite their fragile appearance, they are also very good hunters, capable of hunting everything from hares to antelopes, even to wild boars. They are also one of the fastest dog breeds in the world, topping out at a whopping 40 miles an hour. They are considered highly intelligent dogs, which means they are very easy to train. On the other hand, they can be quite aloof and fiercely independent, so the earlier the training starts, the better. But they are super loyal animals, and they create a very deep bond with their owner, especially if they're adopted at a young age. They will protect their household and their family, as they have a very strong pack mentality. They are highly sought after due to their unique features and characteristics, and also for the fact that they are extremely rare and hard to find. A pure breed Azoak puppy can cost upwards of $3,000. Number 14. Rottweiler. Meet the ultimate Roman dog. Rottweilers are famous for their sturdy and muscled bodies and their ferocious sense of loyalty. But they're much more than just power and strength. They're also incredibly loving, versatile, and hardworking. All of these characteristics makes them highly sought after guard dogs for families. They can be playing with a toddler one second and the next fighting off the enemy. It's important to note that they have one of the most powerful bite forces in the dog world. Only a fool would go against a Rottweiler. Some people are terrified of them, and for good reason. The most common image of the Rottweiler is barking and aggressively showing its impressive teeth in front of huge mansion's property gates.
but they can also be incredibly cuddly and playful. Just don't try to rob its owner's house. They date back to the Roman Empire. They are the descendants of the ancient cattle herding drover dogs. They also served in the military during the Second World War. They are a noble and very ancient breed, which means there's a high demand for them, which also adds to the price of the purebreed specimens. Some of the finest puppies can sell from $2,500 up to $9,500, and even more if the lineage has lots of pedigree. Number 13. Canadian Eskimo Meet one of the rarest Arctic breeds on Earth. Over the last hundred years, their population went from thousands down to just a few hundred specimens. Canadian Eskimos are not only a beautiful dog breed, but also arguably the toughest dog on planet Earth. They've been around for about 4,000 odd years, and during that time, they have served the Inuit people very well. They even helped them migrate from Mongolia to Alaska via the Bering Strait in under three years. This ancient dog breed has a lot of historical importance for the Inuit civilizations, and due to the rough weather conditions that they are used to living in, they might just be the most resilient dogs ever. They also served in World War II when sled dogs were airdropped from planes to run rescue missions. During that time, it's estimated that they saved over 150 lives. Canadian Eskimo dogs are hands down badasses and heroes. But nowadays, with the introduction of snowmobiles as a professional preferred mode of transport in the Canadian Arctic, they are actually facing extinction, which makes them very hard to find. That's why the price for a Canadian Eskimo puppy might be high. You can expect to pay a minimum of $1,500, although they are often sold for $3,500. Number 12. Dogo Argentino as the name suggests, the Dogo Argentino is a dog breed that was developed in Argentina, South America. Originally, they were bred to hunt and kill pumas, which are the biggest predator of the region and were killing off livestock belonging to the Argentinian farmers. The pumas, when threatened, will stand on their hind legs to appear larger, so the Dogo Argentino was trained to attack the neck first. Once it gets a good grip, it simply doesn't let go until the puma's dead. So you can see this is a very powerful, fearless, loyal, and devoted dog breed. They are perfect guard dogs, although not really suitable for novice dog owners. Because their breed is relatively new compared to ancient ones, the lineage is not very long, but that doesn't mean they have any less pedigree. They have incredibly accurate instincts, which means they will accurately identify if an approaching person has malignant intent or not. And in case they do, the Dogo Argentino will not hesitate to attack immediately. They only come with a short, snowy, white coat. This was on purpose, as they were also used to hunt big game, and the hunters had to recognize the dogs from the prey from a long distance. If you're looking for a purebred puppy, it'll cost you around $1,000 to $4,000, but consider it'll cost you on average $1,700 a year just to care for it. Number 11. Pharaoh Hound. If grace, elegance, and nobility is what you're looking for in a dog, this is the perfect breed for you. Pharaoh hounds are beautiful dogs with a sleek and shiny coat, but don't let their statuesque appearance fool you. These dogs can be as goofy as they come. They are loving and cuddly, and sometimes a little bit silly as well. They make great family pets. They were originally developed to track small game over difficult terrain in Egypt. They are such an ancient breed that they are actually believed to be the first documented dog breed in history. They were the dogs of the kings of Egypt, the pharaohs, and they hunted alongside them as well. And today, they are the national dog breed of Malta. They are quite sturdy compared to other hound breeds, which makes them still very agile and elegant, but at the same time, powerful and strong. Its name in Maltese is Kelbtal Fenek, which translates to rabbit dog because they were traditionally used to hunt rabbits in the Maltese islands. That's how fast these pooches are. They also happen to be highly intelligent, which, as you know, means that they are easily trainable, making the Pharaoh Hound a great addition to the family for those who can afford it, as a purebred puppy usually sells for $7,500. Number 10. Afghan Hound 
Ah yes, the Afghan Hound might just be the most refined, aristocratic looking and elegant breed out there. Not to mention their outstanding long blonde hair. They are the supermodels of the canine world. The Afghan Hound is also considered a basal breed and it is one of the oldest known to humankind. Today's specimens are all descendants of a breeding line introduced in Great Britain in the 1920s because King Amanola from the Afghan royal family liked to give these dogs as presents to the highest in command of other kingdoms. As you can see, this dog breed has always walked alongside emperors and kings. There's even a legend that says that there were two Afghan hounds on Noah's Ark. Because of their royal lineage and their prestigious features, these dogs are very expensive and there are very few registered breeders. The ones that are the rarest and the most sought after are the Oyster and NASCAR colored Afghan hounds. They can cost up to $5,500. For a purebred puppy, you'll never pay less than $3,000. These prices take into consideration the elitist aspect of the Afghan Hound. For those who want the dog of the kings, they have to be able to afford it. Number 9. Akita this breed has become extremely popular in recent years, and that might be because they are not only hands down beautiful, but also incredibly powerful and hardwired to be loyal to its owner. Who wouldn't want that in a pet companion? The Akita was officially designated as a natural monument by the Japanese government in 1930. At that time, Akitas were working dogs, sort of like the German Shepherds of Japan. They are courageous, dignified, and profoundly loyal. They'll give their own life to protect their family without even a second thought. They are also quiet, which is a very sought after quality, especially if you have neighbors. The only downside, I really mean the only one, is that they are quite wary of strangers and often intolerant of other animals. But on the other hand, they can also be goofy and silly with their owner, without being clingy either. They are independent thinkers and their only goal in life is to defend the ones they love at any cost. For an Akita puppy, you'll have to pay, on average, between $700 and $1,600. But a purebred Akita coming from parents who have won dog competitions can go for up to $4,000. Number 8. French Bulldog French Bulldogs, or Frenchies, are considered to be the perfect dog for the city, and that makes them a very popular dog breed. And that, of course, makes them a quite expensive pooch as well. As you might already know, the average cost for a Frenchie ranges anywhere from $1,500 to $3,500. Why are they so expensive, though? Well, there's a very simple reason. French Bulldogs cannot reproduce naturally on their own, which means breeders have to make use of artificial insemination and C-sections to reproduce. And all that is quite expensive. You also need a highly trained professional animal surgeon to do so. Let's not forget either the high quality foods that the puppies require, vet bills and housing, it all adds up. In other words, being a Frenchie breeder is a full-time job. French Bulldogs come in a large variety of colors, but the rarest one, and therefore the most sought after, are blue, lilac, and chocolate. Some of these original specimens can go for up to $100,000. Frenchies have always been a favorite of the elite social class, and one of them was even a passenger on the Titanic. His name was Gamin de Piacom, and his owner was a very wealthy banker called Robert Williams Daniel. He reportedly paid $150 for his pooch, which in today's economy would be close to $17,000. Number 7. Saluki The Saluki dog breed was once considered a valuable gift from Allah. They are one of the most ancient dog breeds in history. They have an elegant quality to them. They move with mesmerizing grace, but they are also one of the fastest dog breeds alive. Some say they're actually as fast as the wind. They are one of the few dog breeds that can be traced back to the ancient Egyptian empire. At the time, they were used to hunt medium to large animals such as foxes or antelopes. Their slim body allows them to navigate the desert dunes with ease, as they really don't weigh much, so their feet always remain on the surface of the sand. You can expect to pay around $2,000 for one Saluki puppy. Prices might considerably increase depending on the breeder's reputation, the bloodline of the pooch, and many other factors such as if the parents have won a prize in a dog contest. But one thing's for sure, you won't find one for fewer than $2,000. 
they are certainly worth it. They are incredibly sensitive and have magnificent fluffy and soft ears. They are elegant yet playful and silly. The perfect combination. Number 6. Portuguese Water Dog Let's just jump in about the name of this breed. The Portuguese Water Dog is exactly that. An exuberantly fluffy pooch with an unconditional love for being in the water. Now, these puppies can be quite expensive, but everything depends on several different factors. For example, the breeder's location, reputation, the litter size, the lineage of the puppy, the training, the socialization efforts, and so on. Taking all this into consideration, a Portuguese water dog puppy can be sold, on average, for $3,000. But this is the price for one without breeding rights, although they should always come with the proper official papers. But if you're looking for a pooch with a superior lineage, then you should expect to pay at least $3,800, upwards to $8,400. And there are even more premium puppies with top breed lines and a much more superior pedigree that'll certainly cost a lot more. But they are worth every penny. They are one of the most cunningly intelligent dog breeds out there, which means they are incredibly easy to train. And it also makes them quite independent. They usually form extremely deep bonds with their owners. They are very energetic as well. They are affectionate, adventurous, and athletic. Perfect for an outdoorsy kind of person. Number 5. English Bulldog Ah yes, one of the most recognizable dog breeds in the world, the one and only English Bulldog. These are not particularly agile dogs, but they have a very charming personality and very cinematographic features. They have a sweet disposition and are very dependable. This is why they make excellent family dogs, and they will never be a threat to a child, ever. They are the perfect city dog as they only need moderate amounts of exercise. English Bulldogs have a dark history, though. They were first developed in England to fight against bulls. It was called bull baiting, and it wasn't only considered a form of entertainment, it was also supposed to make the bull's meat tastier before getting butchered and sold. That should give you an idea of just how strong these dogs really are. The practice has, for obvious reasons, been illegal since 1835, but the shape and strength of the English Bulldog remained the same ever since. Because of all their qualities and characteristics, English Bulldogs can cost around $1,500 to $4,500 on average. But if you're looking for a premium variety coming from a champion bloodline, you should expect a budget of up to $9,000. Also, keep in mind, English female Bulldogs are usually more expensive due to their breeding potential. Potential. Number 4. Bedlington Terrier The Bedlington Terrier is a small to medium dog breed that got its name after the Bedlington town in Northumberland, England, where they were bred to hunt vermin and mice. But nowadays, they are mostly used in dog races, several dog sports, breed shows, and, of course, as a pet companion. They are insanely fast and are famous for their endurance. They might look like sweet little lambs, but don't be fooled. They are very athletic and agile. They come in three distinct colors, blue, liver, or sandy, the three of which can have tan points as well. They haven't always been called Bedlington Terriers. They were originally known as Rodberry or Rothberry Terrier, and some specimens alive today have pedigree that can be traced back as far as 1782, when the first ever dog show with a class for the Bedlington Terrier was held. This is a dog breed with a long and successful history in the dog show business. Most Bedlington Terriers are actually bred only for their performance capacities in these shows, and the ones that have award-winning parents can sell for as much as $5,000. On the other hand, if you are in love with the breed but don't have the intention of entering a confirmation show, you could always get a puppy with less nobility for an average of $2,000. Number 3. Irish Wolfhound Meet the tallest of all dog breeds on the entire planet Earth. Irish Wolfhounds, or Wolfies, are easily recognizable by their outstanding towering height of 32 inches from paw to shoulder. They were originally developed to hunt very large and scary game such as wolves, hence the name wild boars, deer, and even elk.
They are a type of sight hound, which means that they always rely on their very keen eyesight to chase after prey. Despite their intimidating appearance, the Irish Wolfhound is one of the most friendly dog breeds out there. They'll play, cuddle, and show affection with absolutely everybody, even a complete stranger that's entering your property. They're very quiet dogs as well. They won't even bark at someone they don't know. All these characteristics make them quite a lousy guard dog, but on the other hand, you won't find a more loyal companion companion than the Wolfie. An Irish Wolfhound puppy from a reputable breeder will cost you around $1,500 to $2,000 on average. But if you want to get a show quality pooch, get ready for a budget starting at $3,000, sometimes more. But keep in mind, Wolfies are very large animals, and the initial cost of the puppy is not the only budget to consider. Then there are the maintenance expenses, and they also need a big space to be comfortable. Number 2. Lakeland Terriers This is one of the rarest breeds of the Terrier group. They are small, agile, and they have delightful, bold personalities. Lakeland Terriers were originally bred for mines and farms, and today, although they are mainly just kept as house pets, they still keep their workmanship's attitude. If you're thinking of getting one of these pooches, be prepared to have a cheeky and adventurous little companion. Despite their quirkiness that is now once again winning the hearts of many, Lakeland Terriers are still considered a threatened breed. Thankfully, they are rising in popularity, so we haven't seen the last of these adorable little pooches just yet. If you're thinking of getting one as a pet, keep in mind that a purebred puppy might cost around $1,000 to $2,800, but the most premium ones, the ones that have a lineage with pedigree, might cost over $3,000. Each puppy's different, though, and therefore, the price varies as well. Factors such as bloodline, genetics, and physical attributes can drastically change the final price of the puppy. They come in many different colors, but they are always independent and impressively intelligent little rascals. Number 1. St. Bernard St. Bernards are playful, charming, and very inquisitive. They are usually associated with being the dog breed responsible for rescuing people in the Alps with a barrel of brandy around their neck, but they are so much more than that. They are the absolute perfect family pets. They are very lovable and peaceful. They were first developed in Switzerland, not only to rescue lost travelers, but also to guard the hospice's grounds. The first St. Bernard, or at least a dog that looks almost exactly as they do today, was first painted in 1695. But the first mention of the breed in a monastery record appeared in 1703, meaning this is a very old dog breed that has served humanity for centuries now. They were first given to the monks to help them ward off bandits, but when they realized that the dogs had a keen sense of smell and could help rescue people, the monks started breeding them resulting in the adorable and fluffy pooch we have today. If you're thinking of getting one, prepare to pay at least one to two thousand dollars. This price is usually what a reputable breeder would ask for. But if you're looking for a puppy with a bloodline that can be traced from competition dogs, then the minimum cost will be about four thousand dollars. As you can see, people look for different things in a dog companion, and every breed has very different physical and psychological characteristics. Which dog breed on this list do you feel like you identify with the most, and why? Tell us about it, we'd love to hear your thoughts. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!